once people again, I don't understand why Trump supporters keep trying to translate what Trump is saying. Trump is a grown old ass man. Let him speak what he wants to say. I don't need a Trump uh, uh, translator every single time I, I have to listen to Trump. That doesn't make sense. All right, so my question, and, and this is a really honest question that I'm asking, like no, no joke, no trying to get clicks or whatever the case is. When is someone racist? Or, or when can we admit, being honest, that someone is is using racist rhetoric for a political game so a lot of people love to throw around the term you know your races and blah 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 and and to me when a word like that is overused just to you know kind of blanketly uh just uh describe a bunch of people it loses its value one and then two it shuts those conversations down for those who may not actually be racist but don't know they're they're operating in a white supremacist uh uh like understanding you know and even black folks you know can be trapped in that understanding but not know that you have kind of been conditioned to operate in that white supremacist type of mindset but when someone is saying racist white supremacy talking points that has been uh, uh, echoed for centuries here in America, when when is that crossing the line? Like if you're literally saying white supremacy talking points from the 1970s and 60s and, and they're on out, like when is it okay to say, hey, I think that person is racist? You know, and we're talking about Donald Trump. Yes, I know. I've never been, I, I didn't want to be that person to say Donald Trump is racist because like I said, you're going to shut that conversation down. But after watching this video, I I am leaning more towards he's not just doing it just to get those type of people, which I don't know why you would want those kind of people voting for you. But I was under the belief, belief that he'll say anything just to get people to vote for him. But at some point, you you have to be crossing a line so let's go ahead and listen to this uh cnn uh, uh debate or conversation and let's see how far trump surrogates will go to defend blank blanket just white supremacist talking points from donald trump and play he's obsessed with the genetic composition of the murderers and the violent people who are in the country. We do have 13,000 murderers here. We have even more people here who've committed sexual crimes, violent what about sexual the crimes. the composition of murderers here in the United States who yeah. are American citizens? I, 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 I mean, not, yeah. what, what should we do about that? Fine. Right. I, think, I think it's perfectly fine to acknowledge that there is a long body of research that there are some people who are genetically predisposed to violence. But today, today, there has been an effort to make it seem like Donald Trump is saying something about immigrants when all he is commenting on are the violent murderers who are in the country. It's simply not true what's being said about him today. And I can't believe, honestly, what I'm here. I've seen people all day long attacking Trump because he's worried that we have 13,000 violent murderers. But he's calling attention. There are white people in this country who are committing far more murders than immigrants I mean, and other many, Americans. There's also white the immigrants in the, the country, too. The point is too. that Donald when, Trump is a sorry. white supremacist. He is oh. generating nativist language to appeal to genetic bases of behavior. That is a classic definition of what we mean when by I white supremacy. When I talk about the, why does he keep doing this, it's because this is not the only time he's talked about this. He's, he has said broadly that immigrants are poisoning the blood of this country. So that has also happened which once again has been said from literal white supremacy individuals. Like that's literally what they say. Not like they kind of said, or like they said a different version of something, like they literally said the same thing. So if you're not racist, then why are you repeating what racist people say? It's not complicated. You know, and, and and you don't have to 
you know, wear the garments, you know, the, the white cape and, and, you know, with the white sheet or whatever and say, I hate black people. Like, okay, that was acceptable in, in the 1960s and beyond. But if you're racist, and, and here's a little thinking process, you know, uh, uh, if you are racist and you want to let that be known, but you don't want to say you hate black people or you hate immigrants, you will come up with a creative way to say that. Like, I, I don't understand why that's so difficult for people to understand. Like, you're not going to just say it blank, uh, blanketly unless, like, you have no, like, fear what, whatsoever. But when you're a political uh, politician, you you have to kind of, like, sexy it up a little bit. You know, d disguise it a little bit. What they call dog whistles. You know, so it's you, you don't have to say it to actually say what you mean on the inside there's there's different ways to get your point across in, instead of saying i hate all immigrants you know that's literally a white supremacist trope by the way but i mean yeah. you can't explain that away really? I, I, I think what scott murders. is saying is absolutely accurate when it comes to this being very unfair uh, there have been many cases when i'm on your show and other shows and i will call out when i think it's wrong but in this case i don't think that's what he was saying uh, this is goes back to that nature versus nurture debate this has nothing to do with race i don't care whether it's a white person a black person an immigrant an american somebody who kills somebody may actually have bad genes and that's been studied for many many years uh, we don't want people it has been studied studied many many years but it's not more race, uh, uh, um, more prone to one race than another. That has been debunked so many times. And unfortunately, I've read so many articles about this very subject. It's, it's, it's kind of sad at the same time, because when you're hearing these kind of people talk about black people and about immigrants and, and try to scientifically prove it, it's, it's sad to read. And, you know, I spent a lot of time reading this stuff and it has been debunked over and over and over again. Now, you know, what, what she's talking about is is differently when someone is like a serial kill, uh, killer or, or just has some sort of mental issue. Then, yeah, you can track that to their their psychology, but not their DNA makeup as Oh, black people are more prone to violence or Mexicans are more prone to like that is not proven. Those those are two separate studies. Once again, I had to waste my time to read that. But those are two different studies. So and, and once people again, I don't understand why Trump supporters keep trying to translate what Trump is saying. Trump is a grown old ass man. Let him speak what he wants to say. I don't need a Trump uh, uh, translator every single time I, I have to listen to Trump. That doesn't make sense. You know, we, we laughed at Joe Biden when he, when he needed that. So why aren't we laughing at Trump when we need translators for everything that he says? People in this country, I don't care whether they are born here or they come from somewhere else. And we certainly, when we already have crime problem but in our country, with he's people just, who are born here, we don't want 13,000. We don't want over four. He's not making that We argument. don't want over 400,000 convicted criminals coming to this country and staying here for decades. Thousand? Because as we all know, we where is the proof of that? There is no proof of that. I did a a a you know I guess you could call it study, um, and hopefully I can remember to put it on a screen right now. Uh, in the past 10 years, when it comes to uh, crimes with uh, U.S. born citizens versus illegal immigrants, it is a huge difference. It's not even close. And, and technically, the trends for illegal immigrant crimes have been going down. So not only that, it's a huge gap. It's almost like the the wages between the one percent and the rest of Americans, like that big of a gap. And the trend is going down for illegal immigrants, not legal, but illegal immigrants. The crime rate is ridiculously low. So why, why? Oh my God! I just want to square up, square up with anyone using that stupid lame talking point. It is. Unf it's, it's not stated anywhere anyone credible i should say so give me a break this is a six 
almost seven minute vid video and literally the whole entire time they are stating in factual things. How do you debate or have a conversation with people who do not care about facts, do not care about statistics, do not care about anything? How do you have a conversation with people like that? You, you look like this. This is how I'm looking on the inside. Like, like that's how I feel talking to these kind of idiots. We have a broken immigration system in which we have a court backlog that extends up He's to a decade. He's not making that argument really about everyone, people who are here. Surely everyone at this table knows that the rate of immigrant crime is actually lower than the rate of crime by, by U.S. So you're okay with 13,000 murderers that's, being in the country because not, of the rate of crime? Really how it works. Not okay. Jesus Christ, if she took more time looking up the information than actually trying to get pretty on, on camera, she would understand that. She took more time doing her hair than taking the time to actually look this stuff up. Why? Why? Why are we sitting at a table trying to have a, a actual serious conversation with people who refuse to read? People who refuse to, like, just admit reality and be like, eh, immigrants are not the main issue of everybody's problem here in America. I, it's, okay. My bad, let's try to actually figure the solution out. But no, when you're just so dug in to a talking point, and unfortunately, they're getting paid to hold up these talking points, you just have these pointless conversations. Like, it's... It's frustrating. Hang on a second, Jay, because I'll let you continue. But I just have to address, look, that that number, it's in, it's wildly misleading mm. to suggest that that is a number that references a small period of time. That is like over the course of many I decades. I don't think anybody at this table talked so, about so the reference 13, of time. The fact is they're 13, here. 13,000 If they've been here for people, decades, that's even worse. 13,000 people who it's other were, but were what y'all are missing is convicted, that you're not who were incarcerated attention. over the course of decades is not a yeah. sign that there is any greater incidence of crime. Well, considering that we've than, seen the numbers quadruple of the citizens. people coming in, we, we may well, not be able to- What about the people to... here? This is my point. What about the genetic makeup of people who are already I have a problem with that too. Doing that. But, and guess but, but what? We don't want them but wait, here. Wait, wait, you, the point you don't. You, you What does that mean? You you don't want them here either. So, oh my God. See, and and this is what happens when you're arguing a pointless position, and when you get confronted with pretty decent questions. You sound stupid. You sound like you have no idea why you're on TV. You have no idea why you're at this table talking amongst these people who know what they're talking about. Michael Eric Dyson knows what he's talking about. He spent his life looking up, studying, and writing about this exact topic. And you're here doing what? What are you here to contribute to the conversation? Nothing at all. You're just a waste of a chair. Get get out. Leave. You are a waste of time to this conversation. Like, like. It's free Why either. isn't it articulated? Why isn't it repeated? Because Why he's isn't talking the specifically about the open argument? border. He's not because talking about a, a, moment ago, a moment ago, you said he wasn't talking about immigration. Now you're saying he is talking about immigration. The fact <laughs> he's is, he's asking is why lying. we're not talking he got about criminals. He, 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 he got asked about immigration. A question about you it. The know, reason he was literally, she got caught in her own lie. She said Donald Trump is not talking about illegal immigrants. He's talking about just just in general crime and, and the DNA makeup, whatever that means, and. Now she's saying, oh, no, he's talking. <laughs> and she, oh, no, hold that That's not what I meant. Like, uh, you Scott, know, full you well that he has we repeated said he's not this talking lie. About a specific for guys, eight he has repeated this lie for eight years mm -hmm. that immigrants are in some way more, cr more prone to criminality, that they're less human, that they have bad blood, that they have bad genetics. I, I don't understand how you convince words around the racist nature of he's that. Not he was all asked about. And he's he said. Not he His said when he immigrant. came down the elevator, he said that Mexico was sending their rapists, rapists. and their murderers. Mm -hmm. They're sending people. And these stats who are would tell us that a lot of rapists order. and murderers have gone. What stats are you talking about? I spent hours looking for stats from credible sources, not just some weirdo who who opened up a, a, a website and, and claimed to know something like, no, I'm talking about actual 
uh, uh, institutions who who collects this data uh, uh, consistently, not just like a YouTube like uh, uh, um, questionnaire where like you know a hundred people voted. Like no real statistics that have been collected through for for years. Those are the statistics I want to read. I want to see. But of course, of course, she doesn't have a it. lower rate than natural. Boys. So you're, so you're okay with them if it's a lower rate. That's the most ridiculous I'm thing okay. I've ever heard. I, I don't, don't want to want scapegoat and immigrants. Here. It's I not don't, a scapegoat. We, we don't. don't if it's preventable, if it's preventable let, that people come the, across the, the border. Here. Go ahead. <sighs> we don't go like, okay, uh, you're a rapist. Uh, you're in. Uh, you're. <laughs> Uh, rapist, you okay? Come on in. That's not how it works. I mean, these are people who, who are are, are not brought in knowing that they are rapists. So, but oddly enough, these are the people who will vote someone who's a convicted felon to be president. Just wrap your head around that. They don't want illegal immigrants no matter what kind of crimes they they're they're doing because they're not being specific they're not saying hey we're, we're allowing uh immigrants who have some crime like no they're against all crime from illegal immigrants but they're willing to vote for someone to be president again who's a convicted felon you know most convicted felons can't even vote but we're trying to get someone in in that white house who's a convicted felon man the hypocrisy is strong on this one you can't argue that you will have to be the dumbest person walking this planet right now to tr to try to defend that point but i'm pretty sure i i will find some idiots in my chats trying to defend that and those are the people who are the dummies walking this earth there you go so we, there is such a thing as uh it turns out that and i don't know and i think abby's right this is over decades and so many of these rapists came in when donald trump and so why haven't we gotten them out? That's the problem. Well, I mean, if there, Madison, some of them have been Madison, not only convicted, they've been deported, them, they're, and they're still roaming the country. No, that's no, no, that's, that's, that is not true. No, okay. some of they them are, have been they are convicted of, of in murder the outside of their countries. We find out about it later, Madison, then this, they get deported, the and they're still roaming the nation. The that's numbers that you're referring to, There are many those more white rapists in this country than immigrants will ever account for. Trust me, I don't want any rapists. The overwhelming information of white men to be seen as the perpetrators of violence that is extraordinary in this country country is well documented, but you don't appeal to a genetic basis. This is classic white supremacy, and your justification of it is an extension of that line. No one's talking about race. That's the problem. No, no, no. Yes, we're just you talking are. about immigrants just and bad genetics and bad blood. That is what racism is. When you talk about genetic basis of behavior, not what every do you say? immigrant is a minority. You, uh, Any immigrant not. that commits a crime, we want out of this country. Mm. I don't know how we could be arguing about that point right you now. Know. We literally know what countries Trump is talking about. We we're acting like Trump has just showed up on the scene like a couple weeks ago. We got plenty of footage with his face, with his mouth moving on his face, talking about shithole countries. He's not talking about Denmark. <laughs> he's he's not talking about countries like that. Read between the lines. Be be a little bit more smarter than a fifth grader to understand this. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, guys. Okay? It's not rocket science. <laughs> you know, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let me play. Sorry. Let me just play just so that people understand. And they should have talking about Trump's comments about immigrants over a course of time. He's been talking about this for a while and talking specifically about basically people's genetic makeup of the people who are coming to this country. Listen. Nobody has any idea where these people are coming from. It's poisoning the blood of our country. They're poisoning the blood of our country. They're poisoning. They're poisoning our country. A lot of it's about the genes, isn't it? Don't you believe? The racehorse theory, you think we're so different? You know, I believe in the racehorse theory. Fast horses produce fast horses. And I tried to look up this resource theory, and I, and unfortunately, I just 
like heard of that phrasing, like the the resource th uh, theory. So I'm still in the process of trying to look that up and see where that originates, see what that belief is and what data or information they're working on to get whatever they're talking about. So if you guys know anything about that, uh, let me know in the comments. But one thing that is a, a general belief from white supremacists when it comes to uh, DNA makeup and, you know, makes people uh, inferior and more in and certain people more superior um, white supremacy. Par uh, particularly the belief in white superiority often attempts to misuse concepts of genetics and DNA to justify racist ideologies. Uh, prominent uh, of this view ar uh, argues that people of European descent are genetically superior to other races, especially in terms of intelligence, morality, and physical traits. They falsely cl uh, claim that DNA determines racial uh, hierarchies with white people positioned at the top that is a general blanket understanding of the whole dna makeup you can't make that up like that's what they believe and it's been tracked for centuries here in america and also other countries but you know we, let's just you know try to focus on one thing at a time um you can't argue that that is a white supremacy talking point. And if someone is quoting that or, or using that uh, 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 in, in their conversation to, to back up whatever policies, that seems a little suspect. I mean, I don't want to call people racist, but sometime, sometime they just make it too hard not to, you know? <laughs> this is... Uh this is an old thing. This is an old uh, that uh, that you can identify who's uh, a rapist by their color and by their immigrant status. I I just I think this is offensive. Would be a great thing. Yep. Oh yeah. Let's hold on. Hold on. We're we're saving that for 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 the next video. Um. This this isn't the first time. I've, I've read, and unfortunately, I still got a lot more reading to do with just the, the, the sad history of America in regards to white supremacy and how they try to form that into institutions, into the way of thinking. Unfortunately, that seeps into to, to so many people's mindsets. Even black folks will look at other black folks in disgust. You know, uh, uh, one one reality check I had to have for myself was, you know, when when you're walking down the street or just walking in a store, and you know a black person's walking opposite of you, and you know they they might look a certain uh, uh, exterior. You know what I'm saying? They might look a little a uh, a little aggressive. I, you know, do right. Just, just, just like myself, unfortunately. Um, and even myself, I had to catch myself like, why do I tense up and just ready for something to happen when this individual is walking past me or I kind of spot them somewhere or, you know, like it could just be my instincts, just making sure everything is, is copacetic. But I don't, I don't feel that way when white people are walking around me. You know what I'm saying? Because one, I, I don't fear white people, but it's like that is me operating in a white supremacy mindset. Like, oh, look at him with the do rag, you know, with the big jacket in in, in, in the saggy pants. Like that dude is nine times out of ten minding his business. He don't he ain't worried about you and he don't want to worry about you. And, and like I say. Me, including myself, I know a lot of people will just assume that with myself. Having spoken that one word to me, but just would assume that I'm trying to do something to them. And, you know, I had my moments where, you know, some white folks would be acting weird when when I walk into a store or just walking down the street, you know, getting getting out of my car. And it's like, hey, lady, I'm not going to steal your purse. Like, calm the hell down. She got this thing in like a chokehold. It's like I'm probably making more money than you. So let's just simmer down now, you know, but unfortunately, 
Trump is racist. I, I there, There's no other way to say it. You only can get away with repeating some of these racist talking points for so long. And then I'm pretty sure, you know, the, the first year is like, okay, maybe he's just doing this to just to get attention. But at some point, you need to take accountable of what you're saying. And if that's like your your main talking points, then unfortunately you're a racist. Okay, like that's that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's just how the chips are falling. You are a racist if you believe that. You are a racist if you're trying to defend a racist. Unfortunately, you're sinking in that same boat. I'm sorry. Okay, you wouldn't defend a rapist you wouldn't defend a pedophile so why are you defending a racist it's the same thing someone who blatantly murders people just for the hell of it you wouldn't defend that person you wouldn't vote for that person to be in office so why are we defending a racist Yo, it's the million dollar question. If, if I could figure that out, I swear I will figure out how to like end world hunger. I guarantee you. I could probably figure that out before I figure out why people want to defend racist people. But once again, if you think I am totally wrong about the subject here in this video and you want to debate me, have a conversation with me, one, jump into the Discord. Let's have that conversation and let me know in the comments. And like always, let's have that conversation.